Hello, it's Jonathan here from Barn2, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a list view of your WooCommerce products. And we're going to do this with a plugin called WooCommerce Product Table. With this plugin, it's easy to create simple lists like these, where we have two neat columns of products based on a category. And then more advanced lists like this one, which has multiple columns of information about each product listed in neat, easy to view rows. OK, so let's start by installing the plugins needed to produce product lists like these. I've got my testing website here and I'm going to go to the admin and then plugins. And there are two plugins we're going to need the free e commerce plugin WooCommerce, which I have here already installed. And because there's no real facility to create product lists in WooCommerce itself, you'll need to install the Barn2 WooCommerce product table plugin, and you can find a link to download it in the description below. Once you've downloaded the plugin, just install it in the normal way by going to Plugins, Add New, and then find the zip file of the downloaded plugin, and then just upload the zip file. Don't unzip it, just upload the zip file. OK, once that's loaded, you'll then see the WooCommerce product table plugin here in plugins and just activate it in the normal way and then click on settings. Once in the settings page, you'll need to enter the license key you received when you purchased the plugin. Paste it into the box here, activate and we're good to go. We now have lots of options to customize and affect the way product lists are globally displayed on your site. And we can produce a product list on any page or post or text widget by using the short code square brackets product underscore table close square brackets. And I'll be showing you short code usage throughout the video. But here we have two options to automate the process of displaying product lists on your main shop page and or your product category pages. So in other words, if you tick these boxes, the plugin will display a product list on your shop page and or your category pages, overwriting the WooCommerce template. Now, how the product list will look depends on the settings here. So let's go through some of the options available for changing the way your product lists look and the information they contain. The settings here are the global settings for how a product list displays. So if you have the shop page and or the category pages set up to display product lists and wherever you use the short code product underscore table, the resulting product list will display according to the settings here. However, you can override most of the settings here if you want to display a different kind of list for a specific part of your website by adapting the shortcode. And I'll go over how to do that later in the video. For now, let's take a look at our global settings here. First up, columns. So this is linked to our products. And here, these are some of my WooCommerce products I've created. And each product has a name, image, SKU, price, category, etc. And back in our plugin settings here, we can decide which of these we want to display as columns. So, for example, if I just want a simple one column list of just the name of our products, I could just put the word name in here. Then at the bottom of the page, save our changes. And if we go to our main shop page, our table will look like this. So you can see we just have a very simple alphabetical list of our products and each one links through to its single product page. If I wanted something with more information and options, then I could put more fields into the column box. So here I'm going to have image, name, stock, categories, short description, price and buy. Then if I save the changes again, we'll get a product list like this. Now we have much more information, but it's set out clearly in rows, making it easy to find and select the product we're looking for. We might want to change the name of some of the columns here. And we can easily do that 
back in the settings page. So back in the columns box, if I want to rename, say, the categories column to category singular, all I need to do is put a colon immediately after categories before the comma, write the new name, category, and then save our changes. And if we go back to our shop page, and if I refresh the page, our categories column, you can see, has been renamed to category. You can change the order of columns and also remove column names at the top of the column altogether. To do this, I'll go back into settings and then after any column where I want to remove the column name, I'll add a colon and then the word blank and that will remove the column name. And we can remove any or all of the column names as we want. So I'm going to save the changes and then back in our shop page, if I refresh, you can see the summary or the short description column name at the top has actually just been completely removed. Now, there are lots of other options we can change in settings, and let's have a look at a few of them. We can limit the length of the description of a product here. We can decide to make all, none, or specific columns in the table clickable as links to, say, the single product page or category. We can set how the table will be sorted here. Decide if we want a drop-down box to filter the table results here. And choose whether to display a search box and where to place it. There are lots of options to customise how your product list will look. Once you've made changes, remember to save your changes so they take effect. Now there's also a link to the full documentation for the plugin settings in the description below. Most of these settings which we've looked at can also be set directly with a shortcode. So if there is somewhere on your site where you want to display things differently to say your main shop page, then shortcodes make that easy to do. And that's what we're going to have a look at next. One thing you might want to do is display a list of products from a specific category, tag or attribute. In other words, you want to just display a filtered list of certain products in a certain place on your website. And the way to do that is with a shortcode. Let's display a list of products from the books category I have in my products. All I need to do is to go to where I want to display the list. So I'm just going to do this on a new page and I'm going to start the shortcode as before. So I'm going to add a shortcode block. I'm using the uh, Gutenberg editor here and I'm going to add the product list shortcode. So uh, open square brackets and then product underscore table but before closing the square brackets, I'm going to add a space and then the word category equals quotation mark books quotation mark and then close the square bracket. Let's save that and view our page. So now you can see we've generated a product list which is conforming to the global settings we have in our plugin settings but is limited to just the category books. And of course, we could have multiple categories displaying too. And the way you would do that is go back to the short code and after books, add a comma, add another category. And I'm going to add my category decor, then the quotation mark, close the brackets, save, and let's view our page now. And this time we're showing the books category and the decor category, which has just one product in it at the moment. The thing to remember is that you can automatically show the list of products in your main shop page and products from a category in a category page if you have the plugin global settings set to do this. So no need for a shortcode. Remember, to set this up, go to admin, go to your WooCommerce settings, and then to the products tab, then the sub menu here called product tables and come down to table display and you'll see the options there.
With these turned on, there's no need to use a short code unless you want to display a list in a different place or a different kind of list. Using short codes is very handy for displaying a product list in a specific page, blog post or text widget. You might even want to list products or variations in the short or long description of the single product page. And you'll find a link to a video with more instructions on how to do this in the description below. Let's use a short code to do one more example. Here I'm going to create a simple multi-column list and I'm going to use the Gutenberg editor. On a blank page here, I'm going to add a block and I'm going to come down to design and columns. And let's choose a two column layout like this. In the first column, I'm going to add a short code for my simple list of products from the books category. So I'm going to add short code block and then I'm going to type uh, square brackets product underscore table, then a space, and then columns equals, and quotation mark, name, and then quotation mark. So that's just going to list the name of each of my books. And then to limit this to just the books category, I'll add category equals, quotation mark, books, quotation mark. I'm using the slug of my books category, but you can also use the ID number. And to find that, you go to your WooCommerce products, then categories. And if you hover over a category, you should see a pop-up with the ID. And here you can see it's 54. Right, so I'm going to copy that short code, come to my other column, add a short code block, and then I'm going to paste that short code and just replace the books category with my hoodies category. OK, let's update the page and view it. OK, so now we have a neat two column display of our books and hoodies products. Let's refine it a bit more. Let's give our columns a better name than name. So let's edit the page and back into our short code. After name, let's add a colon, and then let's write title, and then quotation marks. Then in our other column, let's rename this one to hoodies. OK, so update the page and view it. And now you can see we have renamed our simple columns. Now I'm trying to create just a very simple, clean couple of columns and there's a fair bit of clutter at the top and bottom of each of the columns with filters, search boxes, reset buttons. So let's get rid of those two. Back to edit page and into our short code and let's clean up the uh, display a bit. So to get rid of the search box I'm going to add search underscore box equals and then in quotation marks false uh, to get rid of the filters box, it's filters equals false in quotation marks. And we can also lose the page length and totals like this. So page underscore length equals false and totals equals false in quotation marks. And finally, to lose that little reset icon, it's reset underscore button equals false in quotation marks. OK, I'm just going to copy the changes I've just made to the shortcode and I'm going to paste them onto our other column shortcode here so they both look the same. Let's update and view the page. And there, nice, clean, simple list in two columns. That's really just to show you how you can create a list and sculpture it into however you want it to look with the shortcodes. And all the syntax and wording is in the plugin documentation, a link to which you'll find in the description below. OK, so that's been a look at the WooCommerce product table plugin from Barn2, the really easy way to create simple or advanced product lists for your store.
There's no technical knowledge required and it's suitable for beginners whilst being developer friendly. You can get the plugin with a free trial and there's a 30 day refund from barn2.com, making it easy to try the plugin out on your site with no risk. In the description below, you'll see a link to the plugin support and full documentation. Thanks for watching.